Hi guys, I thought I'd do a video review of the new Chrome 15 Alpha build called Chrome Canary. It's been out for two weeks now I think, I'll just show you what it looks like. Now I don't have a home page so it goes straight onto this most visited tab which I think has been available in previous versions of Chrome and I know it's available for example in Safari. But if you go to the bottom here, a new feature it has in Chrome Canary is, if I just click on it, it's got your apps in one place. So they're the apps I've downloaded so far, so if you go on for example Picnic it goes straight to the website to uh, load it and go back and it's also got your bookmarks so I've put Facebook, Bike, Radar and YouTube uh, and a few others and my bookmarks so straight away you can go just click on your bookmarks without going to the menu or anything like that so I think that's quite a cool feature and obviously it's got me your most visited and the other main feature if you go into your into the top right hand side of the screen click on settings here you can sign in and sync with anything you want so here you can choose to sync extensions just extensions and get rid of everything else or maybe just sync extensions and bookmarks or you can choose everything and it syncs all your data or you know whatever ones you've chosen across all the PCs you have in your you know under your account name that run Google Chrome and any Chrome OS devices so for example if you put a Chrome OS on a netbook for example I think there's a few netbooks also uh, coming out in the next few months that actually have Chrome OS just as their uh, only operating system which is kind of cool so yeah, that's a really quick video review. Uh, up in a few hours will also be a quick comparison between, for example, Chrome 15 and Chrome 14 Beta, or perhaps Chrome 15 versus the Chrome 13 stable version, and obviously everyone's favourite, Firefox against Chrome. So stay tuned for that next video, and hope you enjoyed this one. 